Well, California recently reported its first RSV death in a child younger than five years old. Anyone can be infected with the respiratory tract infection, but it is more dangerous in infants and the elderly. This comes as there have been concerns of a potential surge of COVID, the flu, and RSV this winter. Joining me now is Stanford Clinical Professor of Medicine, Dr. Maathi Sirinivasan. And doctor, big question, how can you tell RSV apart from other illnesses, especially the newer versions of Omicron? Yeah, Ryan, it's very hard to tell these viral illnesses apart, except for who they affect. And as we saw last week, RSV can be lethal in children under five and adults who are over 65. It's responsible for thousands of deaths from pneumonia, uh, 60 to 120,000 hospitalizations and over 2 million outpatient visits. So they're both, um, uh, both Omicron and RSV are very highly contagious RNA viruses. And they cause for most people just runny nose, fevers, decreased appetite, coughing and sneezing. But the people who are most likely to get sick are children, especially preterm children with uh, lung or heart disease, extreme elderly and immunocompromised people. So if your young child or your older parents get sick, in addition to the standard mild things that we're seeing, you really need to watch for irritability, decreased activity, and an increased respiratory rate. And if any of these happen, it's critical that you contact your doctor right away and get swabbed for RSV, COVID, and the flu. And I'd recommend, if you don't have this already, getting a home pulse oximeter to make sure that um, your loved one's uh, blood oxygen stays more than 94%. And we know that there are currently vaccines for RSV being made. Are there any effective treatments available right now? Yeah, um, with the holidays around the corner, it's really hard to remember that we're in the middle of a tridemic with RSV, COVID and flu all sweeping the nation. So the average child, again, uh, or adult isn't going to get very sick. So just supportive care is fine. Ibuprofen, Tylenol, decongestants. Please don't give aspirin to children. But for children who are at high risk, and these are the premature births, uh, um, less than 35 weeks of gestational age, chronic lung disease of prematurity, congenital heart disease. At the beginning of the pandemic, they can get an infusion of a monoclonal antibody, uh, palivizumab, which is given as an infusion um, uh, once every month for six months through the RSV um, uh, season. And it seems to reduce uh, hospitalization by about six or 7%, which is good. The other treatments like ribavirin, um, uh, albuterol, racemigepi, don't seem to help as much. Uh, they are still used for symptomatic treatment. Ribavirin has very specific uh, treatment uh, parameters, again, for very high risk uh, uh, children, but not really effective for the average child. And how safe are the RSV vaccines, especially for the elderly? Yeah, so the good news is, is that for years we haven't had any RSV vaccines and the vaccines from the 60s actually had uh, had an increase in death rate. Um, but now we have about four or five manufacturers who are all working on vaccine development. And just two weeks ago, Pfizer released some early phase three data from a global maternal vaccination RSV trial with about 7,400 pregnant women. And uh, with the goal was to prevent pneumonia in children. Um, uh, and at, at about uh, three months, the vaccine seemed like it was 80% effective um, in, against severe pneumonia in kids, and it was about 70% effective at six months. So this is all early data. Uh, the data hasn't been submitted to the FDA yet, which we're hoping will happen by the end of the year. Uh, Pfizer also has, so that trial was called uh, Matisse after uh, you know the French Impressionists. They've also got a, another trial called Renoir, which is for older adults. But um, Moderna, uh, GSK, and other vaccine developers are all really uh, not too far behind. Um, the, the thing that's made this possible is over the past decade, uh, we've done a lot more work on structural proteins. And there's a protein on the surface of the um, envelope for RSV before it binds to the cells that's been pretty well studied now. It's a prefusion F protein. And um, uh, most of the drug manufacturers are trying to make um, vaccines that will produce antibodies against this. So it seems to be pretty safe and effective. Again, they haven't released all their data, but the uh, early data that was just announced looks very promising. All right. Well, always good information. Dr. Siri Nath uh, Vasan, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks so much. It's great to see you, Ryan.